In addition to the security evaluation models, several standards have been established that serve as guidelines to ensure the security of products. These standards include the ISO standards and the PCI DSS, or Payment Card Industry Data Security Standard. There exists a formal evaluation process of a system which is performed in two stages, certification and accreditation. Certification is the process of evaluating a system's security features from a technical and non-technical perspectives, and comparing the results with the specified security requirements. The evaluation criteria must be defined, and each system component should be evaluated to check if it satisfies the security needs. The certification process includes testing the system's hardware, software, and configuration. This includes assessing the technical, administrative, and physical controls. The result of the evaluation should state the system's level of security in its testing environment, which varies depending on the testing conditions and surroundings, and this includes how the system connects to the network. The certification will be only valid for those testing conditions and environment. After this stage, the system could be presented for acceptance, which is the accreditation process. With the information obtained from the certification stage, an organization can compare these results with its security needs of the system, which should be defined in the security policy or other related documents. If the organization decides that the certification of the system satisfies their needs, then the system could be accredited. As a definition, accreditation is the approval of an organization that a system can operate in a particular security mode at an acceptable risk level. Once accreditation is performed, the system can be entrusted to be deployed. If the organization decides that it is not satisfied with the certification results, it can request that changes be done to the configuration, or that further controls be added to raise the level of the system's security. This requires that the certification stage be repeated, making the whole process iterative, until the expected results are achieved. Same applies after changes have been applied to a deployed system, or after a predefined period of time has elapsed, then this would demand the certification and accreditation process to be repeated. There exists two government standards for certification and accreditation which are, the Risk Management Framework, and the Committee on National Security Systems Policy. These standards are divided into four phases. The first phase called Definition, involves the assignment of roles and the creation of a system security authorization agreement that guides the certification process. The second phase called verification, includes the system development activities and the certification analysis. The third phase called validation, involves the certification evaluation of the integrated system and a recommendation to assist in the accreditation decision making. The fourth and last phase is called post-accreditation, and it includes maintenance of the authorization agreement, change management, and compliance validation. Finally, there are three types of accreditation that could be granted which are, system accreditation, site accreditation for systems in specific locations, and type accreditation for systems distributed in different locations.